What's up YouTube? How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a good one. Um, I want to thank everybody, all, all the new subscribers. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, I know 50 is not a lot, but it's it's crazy. I can't believe I got 50 people that are interested in what I'm doing. But it's really cool. Um, I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep good content for you guys. Um, I got... I put together this chassis out of leftover parts, spare axles, shocks. I also have some stock axial shocks to play with. Um, but I got a scratch build idea for this. And uh, I'm going to kind of run it concurrent with the hot rod because, as I'm going to explain now, um, that last chassis we put. I put together for this thing I just felt like I kinda made it work and I kinda threw it together too fast and it just I felt like I could do better for th than what I you know had done originally so I just wanna take my time with it make sure I think everything out and do things the best you know the best I can so I'm gonna slow down with it a little bit um I am gonna try and put some uh I want, I really want to get the scale transmission for it. You know, I, it's it's just what I want. I want to do it right. I want to put an interior in it and all that stuff. So, plus I'd like to get my axial transmission back out of it and put it in that other chassis I just showed you. So, we're gonna work on getting a scale transmission for it and uh, go from there. So I still got to get the front cross member that attaches to the leaf spring so the front will be suspended but I got the back leaves all set up as you've already seen. Um, I'm going to order some new shocks too. The, uh, I'm probably still going to use the same ones in the front, those little tiny RC four wheel drive shocks. These guys here. Um, I think they just they just look the part. And since you're going to see them, I think that'll work up there. With the weight and that leaf spring being up there, I think it'll be just fine. Um, but one of the viewers gave me a, a part number for some shocks, coilover shocks. I looked up, and that's a great buy. All, all four coilovers, I think it was for $19.99 or $18.99. So I'm going to go ahead and order those and uh, use them in the back. And we'll have to make some mounts to attach the uppers. But, um, depending on those shocks, we might even use them in the back of a truck. So I can use the, uh, or not use, I, I want to build a styrene bed for the blue truck. You know, so it'll have a drop bed, look a little more scale, uh, also still have to do a bumper for that truck so we're going to do a little bit of everything and uh, I'm also still going to try to get as outside as much and and record these trucks cruising I, I really enjoy that I hope you guys enjoy that um, I watch a lot of other guys videos there's some guys out there that make amazing trailing videos with these little trucks there but yeah so I, I like getting out there and doing that plus I like driving the trucks I mean you know so I'm gonna try and get in as much as that and uh, you know we'll do hot rod videos we'll have a custom scratch build truck build videos going on and uh, the blue Toyota pickup truck you see in the other videos that that trucks not a hundred percent complete you know it it still needs rear tail lights, like someone had mentioned in the comments. Uh, but 
but he's right it, it drives me nuts too especially making these videos now seeing them down there it's like uh so got to get that going and uh i want to make a bumper for it and get that drop bed in so th there's still I, I got tons of stuff and i i'll be happy to put it on film for you guys and and post them up you know post up videos about it I, i'm enjoying myself doing it I, i'm I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos and all the new subscribers are just, like I said, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. But, uh, that's all I got for you right now. I, I just wanted to, uh, you know, you guys saw us, saw me do the work for the leaf springs. We, we got them mounted in there. It's working awesome. Let me get this flathead out of there and try to spin this thing around for you. Place is a mess. Yeah, they came out good. And once again, you know, it's a bunch of hogposh hardware. I don't have, you know, a lot of extra hardware laying around. So I'm going to have to get some hardware. The, the one thing I want to change about this in the rear, um, what I did was, this is a solid piece you know it's a piece of all thread inside here and I'm gonna get to plain castle nuts but believe it or not these little spikes are the only things that I had uh, matching so I just threw them on there they were they were in my little RC container so that's what it got you know I probably had some nuts out in the uh, out in my toolbox somewhere but so we threw these on there um, but yeah this is a piece of all thread with some brake line over top of it I used it Brake line here, spacers, just space it off of the frame uh, to get get out, you know, get these brackets out where they needed to be to ride parallel all over the leaf springs. Um, what else? I'm also thinking when I make the bed for it, what I'd like to do is back here at the bottom of the bed, I'm, I'm going to make two hooks. So I'll kind of put the bed in on an angle and hook the, these hooks here and then I'll have two kind of, you know, drift pins that'll go in between these two spacers here and then maybe mount, you know, like a magnet here and here, you know, all four corners and then once it's hooked and, and down and the magnets are there, I, I don't think it'll go anywhere. I think we'll be golden. So I'm not worried about that. Um... And then for these back ones, what I want to do is, you know, this is janky. Uh, what I want to do is get longer screws. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll put them in through this way. And then we'll run a nut all the way down so I can tighten this, the bolt. And kind of fix it to the frame. So it'll be a solid stud off of the frame. That I can slide this over. You know, I'll have to shorten this spacer also. And then I'll slide the spacer on, put the shackle on, and then put a lock nut out here. And that should solve all this. I'm going to end it. Um, Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And. I appreciate all you new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love talking to you in the comments. Keep it coming. Thanks a lot. I'm out of here. Catch you on the next one.